In this last example, we will use transformations to graph the function. So first, our original function, well, we have a base 3. And if we were to use three points to graph this, a good candidate would be just negative 1. And in general, it'll be 1 over the base, just because the negative causes the uh, base to go to the denominator. So this is 1 third. The exponent, whenever you plug in 0, will always give you your y-intercept of 1. And then this last point, when you plug in 1, it'll always be whatever the base is. So just using those three points, you'd have negative 1 1 third, 0 or 1, and 1 3. Of course, you could do 2 9 also if you wanted just a little bit better of a curve. So connecting these in a smooth curve. Then as I go to negative infinity, keep in mind that I won't ever cross, even though that one looks like it. Uh, will remember that you have a horizontal asymptote. In other words, the graph will never cross y equals 0. And now if I'm going to just think about the transformations, I really just need to focus on maybe two or three of these points. So I'm going to just focus on the two. So the first thing I'm going to do is deal with whatever's in, the, uh, in there with the variable. In this case, it's a negative 1. And then since uh, it's negative with the x, it is going to be going in a positive direction. So it's going to be right 1. Then this 2, notice this 2 is off to the side. It is not in the exponent. Therefore, it is going to be affecting the y values. That is to say that this will take us up 2. So the first, so what we'll do is we'll just slide it 1 right, then up 2. And that will put us right here, and then right here. And then if you wanted even that last point in there now, it would go right here, and we would have a graph that looks like this. Notice that this shift did move our horizontal asymptote, or horizontal asymptote was also shifted up, and it's now y equals 2. Or not 0, but y equals 2.